Is the front door locked? What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at the Vision Smart Lock from the guys over at Lockly. This is an all-in-one type of solution, all-in-one type of smart lock. You have a video camera built in, you have a doorbell built in, and you can unlock your door via your voice, fingerprint, pin, ordinary key, Bluetooth, or even Wi-Fi from wherever you are. So it really is the ultimate in terms of a smart lock, but let's go ahead and unbox it and check it out together. Some of the key specs on the back of the box, you do get that HD video camera right there with two-way audio, so you can communicate with whoever's at your door. Internal storage is great, but you also have cloud storage available, so if you're about that cloud life, you can go ahead and sign up for some cloud storage. You can unlock and unlock the door from anywhere. That's the beauty of having a smart lock. You can also use your fingerprint, use your voice assistant, or it's gonna lock automatically for you. But let's just go ahead and see what's inside, and then we're gonna install it again. This is gonna take about 15 minutes to install. So that's what I really like about Lockly Locks. It's very easy and simple. Inside of the box, you have your activation card, and you wanna keep this somewhere safe. You're gonna need this to activate your lock, and it's just it just proves that you are the owner of the lock. So no one can claim to be the owner and try and get into your house or apartment or office, wherever this is located. You're going to need this card, so keep this somewhere secure and safe. Inside you get all of your manuals, and if you do use this for an Airbnb or, or home sharing type of application, you can always put this little, little card on top of your door, and this way people are going to know how to enter your home. So definitely a nice addition from Lockly. You also have all these manuals, which are going to really help you to, to install this lock, but it's really not that hard, guys. It's very simple and should only take you about 15 to 20 minutes, but all of the, all of the information is right here. They do a really nice job of giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install it. And if you need to drill a hole, you also get this handy little measuring guide as well. But again, very simple. Everything is nicely laid out with big pictures. We all like big pictures. That is 100% for sure. But inside, once again, you have all these handy packages and this is everything you're gonna need to get going. Now, just taking a look at the lock before we go ahead and install it. It comes in a couple different colors. This is the matte black. And here's your little key slot. And what I like about the Lockly Lock personally, they don't try and hide this key. They don't try and hide the fact that, the, that a key actually exists. And that's what I like about it because a lot of people aren't really comfortable yet using their fingerprint. Maybe you have your mom or maybe you have someone someone elderly coming over that's not really technologically advanced. I know there, there are some people that are a little bit afraid of tech no matter what your age is. You might not be super comfortable with using a fingerprint or using a keypad. You just want to use a normal key and maybe someone else in your household wants to be high tech. And that's the great thing about this lock. Whatever camp you fall in, you'll be able to use this lock and still enjoy it. And it's a very sturdy lock as well. It's very, very premium feeling, metal feeling door lock. So again, I think they did a nice job. But let's just go ahead and install it, guys. And then we're going to check out some of the features together. Before we get started, this is the only tool you guys are going to need. It's a Phillips screwdriver. Very easy. Now, I just want to point out as well, Lockley does a really nice job of keeping everything organized, and it's a very easy installation. You know when you need to use J, it's right here. If you need N or L, all the bags are nicely labeled. So again, they do a nice job with their packaging. Thumbs up to them for that. Let's go ahead and start this process, guys. The time right now, 1621. Let's see how long it's going to take me. And the first thing you want to do is actually to install the deadbolt. When you install the outside and the inside plate here, you also have this, this adhesive tape that's going to help keep moisture out. So go ahead and peel this off when you stick this on your door once you get it in the right and proper place.
Next, we install the batteries. Lockley's instructions say insert the three batteries, hold on this program button, and then install the fourth battery. And that's it, it's installing itself. And the time is 1634, so it took about, let's just call it 15 minutes to install the lock. Everything is all done, guys. The last step is to install these two magnetic points, and this is gonna let the lock in the software know whether or not the door is closed or open. It's just another added layer of security, and you can ask your Google Assistant if the door is open or closed, and without these points, it's not gonna know. So you do want to install these magnetic points. Next thing I do want to show you a couple features of the lock. Once again, here's that camera right at the top. You also have your fingerprint scanner, which is very fast. Just unlocked my door and it'll lock automatically or I have it set up so I just have to tap the top and it's locked. So I like the fingerprint scanner. I'll show you that once again. Super, super fast. What I like about Lockley products is they don't try and hide the fact that you can also use a physical key. Some other, some other smart locks try and be all fancy and hide the fact that you can use a key, but a lot of people still like using an actual key. And if you have different people in your household, some people might be accustomed to a fingerprint. Some people might be, might be happier with a key. So I like the fact that it's easily accessible. It's not hidden and you can, you can really see that you can use a physical key there. Now, of course, swiping up gives you access to the keypad and you can type in your pin code and it'll open up the door and it just opened up my door just giving you multiple ways to go ahead and, and unlock your door either with the keypad the fingerprint and actual key the smart vision is something i really like there's no motion detection so if you're like me and you have a storm door you don't really need to pay extra to get motion detection and all those fancy features you really just want the lock to start recording when somebody presses the button so there we go. I press the button and I'm sure on my phone, I'm going to show you what it looks like, but you're going to get a recording. What's going on guys? Jabber Tech. I just pressed the button. I hope you're home. I want to come in. I'd like a nice cup of coffee, but the button's here guys. I like that button. Super, super cool. And it also let you know if it thinks someone tried to gain access to your door, but kind of failed. It'll let you know possible tampering or whatnot. And there is a cool down feature. So if someone tries too many times, it's going to lock them out for a specific amount of time. But you always have that backup and speaking of backups if your battery does die and you don't have the key you can always tap a little nine volt battery and give this enough charge to let you enter your home so lockley thought of everything lockley really designed a very nice lock in my opinion but i'm just going to enter once you've gone through the setup process and you've installed that wi-fi hub that has that integrated sd card you can now access your your lock remotely so this is what's, what you're gonna see when you first open up your, your door application for your specific lock. You can see the battery life right over there. And you can also quickly unlock or lock the door just by tapping on that icon. And it's gonna let you know in big, big letters as well as a big icon that your door is opened or locked. And you get a notification right away that someone has unlocked your door. So I'm just gonna lock the door one more time as we go over more of these, more of these settings. Let's just take a look at the log and this is gonna give you a, a rundown of exactly what's happened with your lock, whether you've unlocked it, you've locked it, how you've unlocked it. So I unlocked it with the touchscreen right over there and it auto locked as well. I'll get into some of those features in just a little bit, but I also did mention earlier on that it does have a cool down feature. If someone tries to enter your door a couple, couple times too many, but the good thing about it is it will give you a video of, of who was at your door at the time of that possible hacking. So it looks like Jabber was trying to hack into the door. So you can see that right over here, guys. So I definitely like this feature. It just lets you know who was at your door when the possible tampering happened. And also you can just get a live recording. So there I am. I'm at the door right over there. So I definitely like, I definitely like all these logs. I think it's a nice designed application if you ask me. And you can also go and change the date. So let's let's kind of change that date and see if we get a little bit more video video samples for you guys. So here's another live recording sample. Speaking of the video quality, during the day, the video quality is really, really good. You can see you still get that fisheye kind of effect, but again, it's trying to get as much information about your surroundings from the front door as possible. To show you a few more samples, when someone does press the bell, this is what it's gonna look like. What's going on YouTube, Jabber Tech? 
let's check out this lock and vision lock together and see how smart it is. If we take a look at the notifications on the Lockly application, you can see when you have a visitor at the door, it's going to clearly state you have a visitor, and that's what shows up when someone rings your bell. And you can also see when the door was unlocked. So I unlocked my door personally, so it gives you a name of who exactly unlocked your door there. Now, if you want to see who's at your door and when you get that notification, all you have to do is tap on that you have a visitor icon, and that's going to bring up the camera. It's going to connect right away. Now, I'm in a remote area. I'm not in front of my camera at the moment. But this is the live view that you can see of your door. And here's another daytime sample. Now during the day, you get some nice quality. Nighttime vision, especially where I am in the complete darkness, is completely unusable. So that's where I think maybe Lockley could improve on the vision too. Just include a night vision camera. I'm okay with no motion sensing. I, I don't really need motion sensing since I do have a storm door, but that might be a nice feature for, again, version two, for people who do want to have a, a little bit of a motion detection security camera, if you will. But overall, I think the quality was really nice. Now, let me just see if I can get a little bit more, a little bit more of a sample for you guys to kind of show you. So let's just kind of show you a few more samples here. Again, daytime recording, you see exactly who's at your door, even if the watch band is matching their shirt. So I think the quality is really nice, and I, I definitely like the quality from this camera. Once again, this is a this is a great camera for those of you that do have a storm door. I think it's a nice, nice addition. And who's at the door here with some firewood? So that's really it when it comes to the quality. You, you guys get the idea. It's a very nice camera when you have some light around. Now, in terms of access, you have a whole bunch of different settings that you have for the access. You can add a new user, so a trusted user, a guest, or a one-time access, which is perfect if you have anyone coming to your home to do repairs or not. The guest is great for Airbnb. You can kind of give them access and then revoke that access. Adding a trusted user is great for anybody else in your household. There's also an e-badge that you can set up when it comes to giving people access to your door, as well as an offline access code, which is perfect, again, maybe for people who are coming to do work at your house or Airbnb, because you don't have to give them your actual code. You don't have to give them access via Bluetooth. You don't have to give them access via your fingerprint. You don't have to let them download the, the application to access your door. It's just going to give them a code that they're going to have to put into the keypad there. So again, I think the, the offline access code is a nice idea as well, especially when you can customize the duration. So if someone's only visiting for a certain amount of time, that code is going to expire. And then adding fingerprints is, again, the best way to kind of ensure that people within your household are always going to be able to access your door. So again, many, many different ways to, to give access to your home. And there's just a few more settings I want to show you when it comes to the Lockly, Lockly settings app, if you will. In terms of the camera settings, if you want to kind of save, save space on your SD card, you can turn off 1080p recording and you can turn off that auto recording that you saw when someone presses the bell, it's going to automatically start recording. But really, you can just change the SD card and get a larger card. I don't really think those are features that I personally would disable. And here are your smart alerts as well. So you can customize all of those push alerts. You can customize every kind of alert that's going to come to your phone. Change your access code. You can enable or disable audio. Random mode is like that pin genie, so on the on the actual pin code, it's going to randomize the numbers with each press. Again, perfect if you don't want anyone looking over your shoulder to try and gain access to your door. You also have an auto lock timer, which I think is great because I always forget whether or not I've locked the door. So this is just going to automatically lock for you. So I think that's a very nice, a very nice addition for the Lockly Lock personally. And then there's just a few more settings here. Once again, touchscreen locking. So all you have to do is kind of swipe up on that touchpad and it's going to lock the door for you. And that's basically it when it comes to the settings that I want to show you. I think they do a nice job. I really like the way that this lock functions. I think it's a, a nice addition to anybody's home. Again, getting rid of as many keys is what I want to do personally. The installation, although my camera did cut out, only took me 10 minutes. And that's that's because I already had a pre-existing hole. If you do have to cut through a door, it might take you a little bit longer. But if you know how to change a, a closet door, if you've ever changed the closet handle, you're going to be able to change this just fine. You don't really need to get a locksmith. And with all the control on your phone, it's a great addition, great security feature. And also, it's just kind of bringing everyone into the modern age with getting rid of as many keys as possible. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video.